Hey guys, it's Sherry from Sherry's Bag Holding. Um, hi. It's been a little while. I've not been feeling good. Sorry. So, I wanted to tell you about the random act of kindness giveaway. I can't... Oh, that's my dog, by the way. <laughs> I can't post anything on my cell phone in the video. I'm not that good. Sorry. Um... Anyways, so it's supposed to be a random act of kindness, right? So I random acted of kindness a entire clover hook set because I had purchased it in January and I was going to give it out one hook at a time every giveaway that I do. And I found out about a hook set um, situation that my friend had and... She has cancer, and I love her very much. She is going through treatments and everything. And, ooh, I'm holding this with my hand, by the way. I'm always holding it with my hand. Um, so, I found this out, and I'm, her name is Jen. And I went, dot, 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 what you're using really basic metal hooks when there is something out there that's better and I happen to have it and I'm tired so I'm not going to probably do a bunch of giveaways right now and I said huh and you're one of my good friends nope I think we found our random act of kindness hands down easy to go I mean, uh, I don't know if you guys see my page. I'll I'll share it on the the group page on Facebook. Um, her GoFundMe for her cancer stuff, so you guys can see her whole story. But uh, I've been friends with her since I was eighteen. Um, we met a long time ago. We were. Just uh, the minute we met and saw each other, we were just good friends. Just, you know, thick as thieves, I guess. And she moved up away from me, but she's still in Florida. She just moved up uh, north. Um, it's in the panhandle. Hey, no licking. <laughs> I don't like them licking my blanket because when I get cold I snuggle up the blanket so I get cranky about it <laughs> but uh, anyways all that going on I sent the box to her I sent her um, blueberry muffin uh, Karen cakes because I love her very much and I went oh I have two of them and they both match yeah um and then after I had already sent the box, the third one fell out of my yarn stash over here next to me. Maymay, could you not say you did? No. <laughs> so I packaged it all up. Actually, Raven did because I was too tired. Oh, and we sent it off yesterday. Um... Hi, you can sit. It's okay. She wants to jump down, but she can't because the big boxer's next to me. Ah! Okay, I guess she's gonna climb on me. <laughs> Anyhow, so the reason I've been so tired and sleeping 14 <laughs> hours a day, I got the results of my test. I have, um, come on, <laughs> okay, or I guess she wants to be in the video too, that's just fine. I have, oh, there's my boxer, and there's all my clothes that I have yet to fold, and I will get to them when I get to them. Sit down, baby, sit here, there you go. Um, I have 
malignant cells in my uh, and that's why I've been bleeding and everything and they've been going crazy so they cut they paused the fertility um, uh, fertility uh, program that I'm in and they are going to address my it's they don't know how bad the cancer is yet but they will find out Tuesday they're going to do the Tuesday they're going to do the scan so my mother is going to take me and mama and I are going to take care of that that's all there is to it um and then on Tuesday well uh, Tuesday uh, the the week after that Tuesday I'll find out how bad it is it could be bad it could be really easy it could be nothing I mean the doctors have developed such easy and convenient ways to take care of it and like the doctor said this is a blessing in disguise we found it when it was in the, its infant stage before anything happened I mean what a blessing right and I already have do, 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 where is it at? I already have the port so we're ready to go I'm gonna talk to a doctor out of the university in Tampa um, after I get my test results and uh, so that's nice I mean it's up there in Tampa it's a little bit of drive but it's okay it's a good doctor who has speciality in this area so that's pretty darn awesome right blessings in disguise <laughs> I gotta show you guys this do, 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 do. she's guarding my tablet <laughs> and there's a big boxer but this is why I have been so tired. I thought it was just my MS, but apparently it was my MS and other stuff. And my guy Ray, he has been so supportive. He, uh, he told me to quit playing the medical lottery. He said, you've heard one lottery twice, the medical lottery anyway. You know, I got MS. And now I've got cancer. So let's not play a third time, alright? Just not play it a third time. My anemia, anemia, anemia. My anemia, I think that's how I say it, is under control. I've been taking the um, new iron, is what it's called that the doctor gave me and I felt so much better I mean before I was not feeling good and you know, like cold sweats and stuff now it's like everything is better so anyways that's what I want to tell y'all um, I will ask Jen to post a picture of the box when she gets it and I should have posted a picture before she left I also made her a dragon egg dice bag, personally. She's, and when I say personally, I mean, I sewed the liner in there really good. And I was sitting here t testing it, put my hand in it, I mean, everything. And, of course, it's personal. I've known her since I was 18. I'm not doing anything I can for her. Even if it takes me three weeks. <laughs> That's how tired I've been. All right. I'm going to take care of the dogs. They, they're acting like they got to go potty. So, I will talk to you later. Thank you. Um, I will try and get things going again. Love you guys. I wanted to show you the Dragon Egg dice bag, but... Unfortunately, it's already sent off. And we found a way... 
where we didn't have to send off packages through the post office. You can print it out online, right? And they have these drop-off boxes. You just take the package and you go drop it off in their little drop-off box. Never has to touch anybody's hand that's at the post office. So those, I think it was 13 people that had it, never had to come in contact with them. But still, with all that in mind, Jen, disinfect your box. It's not a big deal. You just get a can of Lysol or you get a bottle of alcohol and put a little thing on there and wipe it down. And with that in mind, that's what y'all should be doing too. Y'all should be can of Lysol. You know what you can do? I'm doing this, by the way. I am going to do this. Because I have a spray bottle. I know I'm ready to use it. I've been using vinegar to spray all my stuff. Because vinegar is uh, antibacterial. Antiviral. Um, but I have a bottle of alcohol. Because Ray found one bottle. I'm thinking I'm going to take the uh, spray pump bottle. Topper. And stick it in the bottle of alcohol. And just spray the packages as they come. Because I have to order a lot of packages. Hello. Wheelchair. Can't get to the store. So, I order stuff online, like my dried beans, my rice. Uh, I mean, unless it's perishable good, i.e. hamburger, turkey. I like turkey better. Uh, you know, vegetables. I usually order it online. Just, I'm just too tired. Alright guys, this video has gone on long enough. I will talk to y'all later on. I'm going to take my puppies out and probably take a nap. Because apparently, I need another nap. <laughs> Love you guys. Mwah. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, I'll talk to y'all soon. And if y'all have a better way to disinfect your packages than I do, I am more than willing to listen because... That is a very important thing to do. Oh, oh, I forgot my mask. I will show y'all later, or I'll, show, I'll put a picture up on the Facebook group. We have a Facebook group. I'll try and link it to. So after the video is posted, I'll go back in it and try and link it. My tablet's not that good, but I'll try and link the, the group and Jen's page so y'all understand her story. And did I put anything else I was supposed to link? Oh, 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 I forgot to tell y'all. Raven sold another miniature and he is so excited. So we went ahead and he's got the, uh, the 3D printer, the 3D printer. And now he's got the 3D resin printer so he can make the miniatures really good. Um, I don't have any to show you because, well, it's just me on the couch. But, uh, as I look around, <laughs> I might find one. Um, next time I will get a video and I'll show you all my mask that I made. It's so cute. I want to put a little butterfly on it. So, like, right here, you know, right here. I think that would be really cute. And it's cotton, so it can be sterilized. And I used a little pipe cleaner for the nose bit, and it keeps it all closed. And I used a uh, HEPA filter for my vacuum. They said you take it and you just cut a filter out and you can put it on your face. I'm going to take the HEPA filter to the next one because I made a mistake on the first one. The next one I'm going to maybe hot glue it or maybe even staple it all together and shut really good. And... I'm gonna, because you can actually, said you can sterilize those too. So if I have it all stapled shut, I think that might work better. To keep all of the different layers together. Because apparently there's four layers. We'll figure it out. I'll talk to y'all later.